Today I'm going to be helping you with one of those annoying Bluetooth problems that have to do with headsets, but first, my name is V Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and let's talk about Bluetooth interference and some possible solutions. While Bluetooth headsets and other Bluetooth devices operate with a signal bandwidth that is within the 2.4 GHz spectrum, which just so that we all know and understand is an unlicensed spectrum allowing manufacturers to design and put out as many gadgets as they want that operate within the spectrum, which is reason number one why there's so much interference with that band. There are just too many gadgets around us operating within a 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. Obviously there are other spectrums that could be used, but the problem is, is Bluetooth operates solely within a 2.4 gigahertz spectrum which is kind of a problem. Things like wireless routers, cordless phones, wireless RF video equipment, microwaves can operate within this actual thing, wireless speakers, and a whole bunch of other devices. But that's not the only things that can interfere with these signals. You've got things like microwaves, direct satellite services, coax cables when they are, are damaged, some external monitors and LCD displays have been known to actually affect this. And on top of that, anything that contains power. So basically anything like a power line, energized train tracks, transformers, or even motors that are emitting, guess what? Electromagnetic interference. All of this can affect your ability to use Bluetooth devices. But there are some possible solutions. In the cases of power lines, energized tracks, motors emitting electromagnetic fields and all that kind of stuff, you have to stay away from them. In the case of microwaves, if you're cooking popcorn, just stay really far away from it. Obviously the microwave's not gonna kill you, but it will kill your joy of listening to music. And if it has to do with coax cables and other cables being damaged or just poor quality, replace them with better or newer undamaged cables themselves, keeping in mind that optical cables don't affect anything. They are made of light. Just want all of you to understand that you do not need a monster optical cable. It is said that most companies actually give you a suggestion when it comes to your Bluetooth receiver for your headset. Put it on the same side of the body as your cell phone, or basically put your cell phone on the same side of the body as the receiver. Why? Because Bluetooth operates better with line of sight communication. That is one of the easiest solutions that can be applied to your everyday life. Just put your cell phone or MP3 player that you're connecting by Bluetooth to your Bluetooth headset on the same side of the body as the receiver, which just happens to be for most people on the right side of the body. Hope that helps you out with that possible issue. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those that you think benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website tqaweekly.com for everything else. And of course, if you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today. Patrons get these episodes 24 hours in advance of everyone else. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.